Hello everyone, I'm Teddy Radko and today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to show you my best tips and tricks to create realistic looking historic canal districts. This is going to be an intermediate level and fast paced tutorial, so prepare to pause and rewind if you're going to follow along with the tutorial step by step. Step 1. Terraforming. I recommend starting out with a flat area near sea level, as to not create too high and bumpy keys. Start by terraforming the rough outlines of the canal network. I'm doing this by using the level terrain tool to set the canal depth to a slightly lower than sea level height, which is indicated by the thick white contour line. Make sure to not connect the canals to the sea as we don't want water to flow in just yet. This will make key making a lot easier as you won't have to deal with those troublesome in-water notifications. Step 2. Keys and bridges. One of the best features in City Skylines 2 is the possibility to make any network into a key using the retaining wall feature. Start by dragging out roads along the edge of the terraform canal trenches. I like to disable all if not most snapping options for this part. Use the blue build preview hologram to see if the road will be level and have a retaining wall only on the canal facing side before finalizing the placement. Toggling contour lines on for this step is also really helpful. Placing wider roads and replacing them with smaller ones is a great trick if you're struggling to get the retaining walls to form correctly. It is also possible to use the replace feature to offset key roads and by disabling snapping you can achieve a very fine control of placement. With all these canals we're also creating a lot of islands that need bridges between them. If bridges don't form by default when you're connecting roads over the canals, you can try to build a temporary pavement path down in the canal trench. Dragging out a road over the path should now force a proper bridge segment to be built. Afterwards you can safely remove the path and the bridge will keep on being a bridge. Repeat these steps until all your canals are keyed and bridged. It is possible to add more keys and bridges later, but it will become more tedious once the water is filled in. I like to keep at least some canals unkeyed, as it creates a bit more variation and realism. In the real world, hard keys are very expensive to build and maintain. Step 3. Fill up. With the keys and bridges done, we can finally fill the canal network with water. Use the terraforming tools to connect the canals with the sea or any other bodies of water you have. To facilitate the water filling up properly, you may have to adjust the depth of the canals. This can be done safely without affecting the already placed keys. Step 4. Zoning. Filling in non-rectangle blocks can be a challenge in city skylines, but through some trickery and clever use of zoning types, we can get pretty good results regardless. The main point to take away is to try and get as much roadside as possible to have zoning on it. You can use the pedestrian paths to reconfigure the zoning grid and make it more efficient. The district is primarily going to be zoned with European medium density row houses, as the small sizes of these lets us fill the irregular blocks better. The look of these assets also fit particularly well with the Amsterdam style Dutch theme that I'm going for here. European mixed housing is super useful on corner lots as they have specific models for this situation. They add extra paving to the ground that can fill up non-right corners and they work wonders for variety. European high density business and medium density housing zoning can also be put into the mix, but often only for one building at a time. Using smaller size lots helps match assets from these zoning types to the generally smaller row houses. Step 5. Details and trees. The final step is to go in and detail up the district. Paths can do a lot to fix awkward gaps between buildings and roads. I sometimes imagine them being tiny shortcut alleys or access points to inner courtyards. 
Trees are vital for the color and beauty of your city. Create lots of micro parks by placing a few trees one by one in gaps where nothing else fits. The poplar tree has a tiny footprint that lets you place it almost anywhere. Don't forget about the road services upgrades that lets you add trees and grass directly onto your roads. Place parks and any suitable signature buildings you might have unlocked to make the new residents happy. Now that's what I call a proper canal district. I hope you found this tutorial useful and maybe even feel inspired to create something similar yourself. That's going to be all from me for this time, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this from your favorite creators.